During this lesson, I'm going to review how to find the distance between two points on the coordinate plane that form either a vertical or a horizontal line. We are also going to learn how to recognize when a pair of points will form a vertical or a horizontal line. Let's look at the first pair of points, positive 7, positive 8, and positive 7, positive 2. Notice how each of the x values are the same for both points. Whenever you have two points with identical x values, the two points will form a vertical line. The second pair of points, negative 5, positive 4, and negative 5, negative 5, also have identical x values, meaning they will also form a vertical line. And looking at the third pair of points, negative 6, negative 5, and positive 7, negative 5, we should notice that the y values are identical. When the y values are identical, the two points will form a horizontal line. Let's plot each pair of points so we may examine this further. The first point, positive 7, positive 8, is located right here. And positive 7, positive 2 is located right here. As you can see, both of these points have an x value of 7 and they form a vertical line. Now let's plot the second pair of points. Negative 5, positive 4 is located right here. And negative 5, negative 5 is located right here. Once again, the x values are identical, meaning they form a vertical line. Now, looking at the third pair of points, we should notice that the y values are the same. When the y values are the same, the graph points will form a horizontal line. Let us plot the points just to verify this. Negative 6, negative 5 is located right here. And positive 7, negative 5 is located here. And as you can see, the two points form a horizontal line. So whenever you have two or more points with the same x values, they will form a vertical line. And when you have two or more points with the same y values, they will form a horizontal line. Now, if you recognize right away that the two points will form a horizontal line or a vertical line, there is a simple way to find the distance between the two points. What you can do is examine the values in your pair of points that are not the same and find the distance between those two values. For example, looking at the first pair of points, the y values, 8 and 2, are not the same. 8 and 2 are 6 away from each other, so the distance between the two points is 6. Now, of course, we could just graph the points and physically count the distance between the points. However, it is convenient at times just to recognize when two points will form a vertical or a horizontal line and what its distance is by simply examining the two values that are different. Looking at the second pair of points, we can see that the x's are the same, so we must examine the y values to determine the distance. The y values of these two points are positive 4 and negative 5. Positive 4 and negative 5 are a distance of 9 away from each other. So the distance between the two points is 9. Now notice how in this example, we had a negative value and a positive value. When finding the distance between a negative value and a positive value, you must add their absolute values together. If you forgot what absolute value is, it is simply the distance a number is away from 0. The absolute value of a number is always positive. We can look at the coordinate plane to see why that is. Notice how this point is 4 units above 0. And this point right here is 5 units below 0. Because one number is below 0 and the other is above 0, we must add their absolute values to find the distance between them. Now, let's look at our third pair of points that formed a horizontal line. The y values are the same, so we must examine the x values, negative 6 and positive 7. Remember, to find the distance between a negative value and a positive value, we must add their absolute values together. The absolute value of negative 6 is 6, and the absolute value of positive 7 is 7. So basically, one of the numbers is 6 below 0, and the other is 7 above 0. But if we add their absolute values together, the total distance between those two points would be 13. So remember, if you notice that two points have the same x value, you should recognize that a vertical line will be formed. 
And if you have the same Y values, you can immediately recognize that the points would create a horizontal line. You can then take the two values that are not the same from your two points and just find the distance between those two numbers and that will give you the distance between the two points.